Hello everybody, welcome back to Splunky. We're just going to go in with a regular run in mind for gentle, simple survival. Um, Alright, nothing to see there. Um, my speedrun attempts have not been too clean. So, um, just using this for a little bit of practice. Also, it's relatively low, uh, whoa. Oh, no. That's not good. What a simple first level. Alright, we'll just take a pot. I didn't see a damsel anywhere, so... Well, simple first level. Could mean a good shop. Right. Hopefully. That's a pretty decent shop. Considers that a decent shop anyway. Wow, another short level. Guess we'll uh, leave the shopkeeper alone. Eh, not really a lot to see. So, let's not bother with actually trying to see what else is there. Oh boy. Okay, you can die as well, thank you. Probably should have checked and seen if there was a... Oh no. Oh no. Darn it. There is an altar. Of course an altar that we cannot get to. Damsel. A free moving shopkeeper. Uh, well, we'll have to come back up anyway. Would have been nice if we could actually pick up that body down there, but, uh... I mean, body upstairs, the... Helping hand.
But we'll just move on. I already spent enough time there. Um, oh, that guy alone. Want those bike shoes? in terms of those things no sacrificial altar in this level so not a big deal Seals in the shop. Something good? Uh I could probably just get out of here. Hopefully there wasn't uh, the black market entrance. I mean, there's always a chance that it's there. I don't know why I'm carrying the damsel. It's just one extra liability. Ah. Often that results in nothing. see where his shotgun landed so I didn't want him to accidentally walk across it and pick it up. Ah. 
Aha. I'm not that curious. <whistles> that damsel is dead. There are a lot of sh bombs here, which is good. Jetpack, bomb, ropes. Not a lot to see there. I wanted to... Oh no, never mind, I can't do what I wanted to do. What the heck? I meant to go to the worm, but uh, I lost my opportunity when I sacrificed that body. Okay. I'm just gonna explore. Yeah, 
Actually, what's more important is actually getting this. Getting this guy to the exit. Ah, there we go. <laughs> and whatever. Certainly had plenty of opportunities to um, had plenty of opportunity in this game to um, get lots of gold, but again, not important at all. I want to make sure that I still had my bomb. Alright, uh, there was a shop up here, so I certainly don't want any... not uh Oof. that was me being stupid eh I mean I could have done that a lot easier with the uh I don't even need to get into the vault for the shotgun. And this is more than enough for invigoration. So let's do that. And... Alright, let's get out of here. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's still alive. Was a slightly harrowing experience because I was not expecting the shopkeeper to still be alive at that point. Why did I do that? I don't know. Why do you stay alive for so long? things a little bit easier for me.
Oh boy. Find Anubis. Would like to... That works. Okay. Just to make life easier. <sighs> and There we go. Nice and simple. Hardly had to do any work on that particular level. Oof. Seriously, I almost died. That is not a very good place to be. I don't want to be tempted by it. Easy enough to get rid of you. I usually always am looking to collect blood or health here instead of uh, getting all the gold. I know you can get a lot of money here, but for me, <laughs> I think survivability is still the most desirable thing to have. Where did that shopkeeper go? Oh, he inevitably f <clears throat> wandered his own way into the um, 
lava pit. Makes sense. What's up with the parachutes? And it'll itty bitty tiny bits of money. One time I had a parachute and uh, it screwed me over. So ever since then I've been skeptical about parachutes. So what happened was, I had this parachute and I was coming down onto Omek's head and uh, the parachute kicked in and I couldn't find a way to land and stop the parachute from dropping off my body. Uh, I was out of ropes at the time um, and it ended up being one of those stupid situations where I had everything ready to go to hell and um, the game wouldn't let me eh, I wasn't expecting to destroy so many things but I guess that'll do wow Look at all those vampires. Damsel is one on the right. That works. Whatever floats your boat, I guess, sir. Whatever kills you faster will do just fine by me. Um, 
let's just this one bit. I think that is a fake damsel. Nope, that is a real damn good. Alright, well. That is not what I was expecting. Seriously, kill yourself. <laughs> I had full confidence that the shopkeeper was going to kill himself. Although... After, um, get rid of those guys. Just another stroll into Yama's lair. 30 minutes. Not too long, not too short. Pretty standard for me, I think, when I play carefully. I mean, not that carefully, because... Still alive? I didn't really feel like getting all the rubies. There's really no point at this time. Hey, these guys are here again. I'm always amused. Um, the reason I went and got those items on the left was so that I could hopefully get a parachute so that when I land and the game ends and the ending sequence I don't I still end up holding onto the shotgun, but it's not really a big deal. So um, yeah, another run done. <laughs> I don't know why sometimes they decide to show up, uh, sometimes they don't. Um, I mean the other Yang. Um, I'm always amused when it does happen, though. I remember the first time it happened, or rather, after I beat Yama and I started playing as uh, Yang for the first time. 
the the first time I played and was trying to get to hell and beat Yama again. I, all I wanted to do was see this the, the two of them together and it wouldn't happen. And I was really not shocked, I just figured it was, you know, a um um it was just built in that, you know, if you play as Yang, of course he's not gonna show up in the end credits. Uh as somebody holding onto the treasure. But uh and then it happened when I was playing on my laptop and I thought Maybe it's a different save file, but then again, it's just happened on and off, and no rhyme or reason, no idea why it happens, but I'm happy that it actually does from time to time. Makes me happy anyway. But, uh, yeah, great, uh, great game this is, I mean, uh, just can't seem to... Uh, there are still things that make me nervous about doing and I'm clearly still losing lots of health left and right, which is why I'm always doing stuff to buffer my health, like trying to sacrifice as many things as possible as early as possible, trying to get the Kapala, and then just harvesting blood left and right, and of course I'm afraid to go into the Mothership, which with my standing record in the Mothership, which is basically, I usually die before I get out of there. Um, you know, that's <laughs> I'm still timid about it. Uh, I still miscalculate my things because I, I always want to... I usually, I try to go into the worm to get the Chris knife, but then of course, like today, I just sacrificed the damsel body without even thinking about it. And, and uh, before I knew it, <laughs> I thought, oh, I'll just go to the worm, I'll go to the mothership, and I'll get my uh, headshot after that. Well, it just wasn't going to happen if I already sacrificed the damsel. But, um, yeah, great game, great game. Thank you for watching, and uh, I hope you have a lovely, lovely day. Thank you, and bye-bye.